here to do the Lord's bidding, to do what the Lord would have me to do. And I pray you're doing what God would have you to do. God gives us all assignments, Kenneth. God bless you, Kenneth. God gives us all assignments. My assignment is just simply to read seven minutes every day. Just read the Bible seven minutes every day. That's what my assignment is because there are people out there. There are people. Everybody needs the word. But in this season in particular, people really, really need hope. They need something to grab hold to. And so that's what I'm here for. Hey, family. Hello, 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 family. Hello, hello, hello over here. I'm not ignoring you. You know, I'm setting up my gadgets. <coughs> so good to see you guys here. Um, I sort of kind of figured out what this uh, 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 is. It's the, 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 the asthma stuff my, in my lung. Because I be laboring to breathe, y'all. And I have the... Um, Okay, that's the wrong way. I need to reverse the screen. All right, there we go. So this is my backup here. I have a little backup. I just record what I'm doing. In the event that all this stuff, all these gadgets don't work, then you are able to go to a place and you're still able to find the read with clarity. Um, I would dare say the best place to go is go to YouTube. My name, Pamela Dobson. Where's it at on there? YouTube, my name Pamela Dobson, YouTube, YouTube, here we go. YouTube, right here, YouTube, Pamela Dobson. Go to YouTube uh, and go to Pamela Dobson. All of my reads are put there with the backup. My backup reads are put on YouTube, Pamela Dobson. My backups are also put on Timbrel. Timbrel, my backups are put on Timbrel, and that address is Mama Pam of Smurf. On Timbrel, it's Mama Pam of Smurf. Seven Minute Read Family. That's who we are. Our ministry is Smurf. So you can always get clarity. You can always get um, it's a broadcast today. If they're blurry, if they're not very clear, then you can go to YouTube Pamela Dobson. YouTube Pamela Dobson. And you will find every day's read. Uh, on my backup, on my backup that I'm doing right here, Lord willing, and it continues recording. Praise God! So this is be a day to be encouraged. Peace rest. So you, um, thank you, Yod. Thank you, Yod. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Mister Yod. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we're gonna read the Bible. We usually get started at seven o'clock, seven p.m. I'm reading, hey, Southern Breeze, I see you, Miss Linda, God bless you, precious, glad to see you in the house, praise God. Uh-oh, let me turn my music up, did I get it? Let's see, did I get it in time? Yeah, I got it in time. <clears throat> praise God. God bless you, Mr. Nurbit. I appreciate your high pretty, but my name is Mama Pam. That'll do just fine, praise God. Because I read the Bible. I'm not on these sites to find anybody. I'm not looking for anybody. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not on here looking for anyone. What it is is just the lungs, y'all. The lungs is making me... Uh, 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 uh. I was diagnosed with um, asthma in my old age. Old as dirt. I ain't never known about no asthma. They asked me how long have you had asthma. Yeah, I had no asthma. Name again, please. Mama Pam. Mama Pam. I am Mama Pam to the nation. I am a mother of four natural children. I have 14 grandchildren. And then I have 10 great-grandchildren. So I'm a nurturer. I mother everybody. And then I have this ministry, Smurf Ministry. And many people that come in become my children. So just call me Mama Pam. Thank you. So I appreciate your respect, Nurbit. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because I know this is a dating site. And so people on these sites like, well, what you on here for if you ain't here to be dating? I'm here to tell you about Jesus. You're welcome. You can call me Mama. You can call me. Thank you, Mama. Mama Pam. You can call me Mama. Thanks, Mama. Praise God. So people come on these sites. It's like, well, what you doing on here? And I'm on here to tell Lottie died and everybody about Jesus through reading the scripture. How can you have faith? We really, really, really need faith in this area that we are in right now in life. Let me reset my computer because it is not 
it's not coming up, so let me restart it. Let's shut it down and restart it so that it can reboot, do whatever it needs to do. In this season that we are living in, it's such a season of uncertainty. Um, one thing that we can all rejoice in is that we do have a president in the presidential seat that got some sense. Now we got somebody sitting in the seat that got a little bit of sense. We got somebody sitting in the seat that acknowledges a superior, somebody greater than him. The one that we had in the seat, there was no one greater than the Trump. When the Trump spoke, you supposed to respond. He beguiled the people. He mesmerized them. He lured them into his web. And then they lost their mind. They took on his mind. Okay? And by doing that, they he messed up a lot of people. We now have a man in that is a man of prayer. A man that goes to seek us, uh, seek something bigger than himself. Biden goes and prays. They say wherever he's at, whatever community he comes to, he will find him a church to go to and pray. And that's a wonderful thing. Um, however, we don't have to find a building. We don't have to find a building to go to to pray in because we are the building. We are now the building. So I'm going to have to send, send Brother Biden a message and let him know he's a good Catholic. Well, see, he got to just be a good Christian and know that Jesus has already come and he died for us. And all we have to do is invite him into our hearts, into us, and we are the church. And so we invite Christ into us and we are right. And that's what he is doing, has done, is trying to do the best of his knowledge. People can't do no more than they know. Hey, Candy, Angel Candy. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you. Appreciate your lovely comment. Let me follow you. I follow people when they come on and, and give me accolades. When I see them, I try to follow them and support them. Southern Breeze, Miss Linda, I thank you for all the whatever you're doing over here. You know I don't have a clue because I'm on these various platforms and various, um, uh, and I don't know. Behind the scenes, I don't know how to do the messaging. I don't know how to answer people on all these gadgets and all these platforms. Okay, I'm thinking it says that we are live on the other platforms. Let me just check and see real quick. I've been going back and looking at my restreamings of uh, Facebook, looking at my restreamings on um, various sites, and it, it just they are not doing. They 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 look terrible. They look bad. I'm like, what is this? You can't, it's, they're blurry, they're choppy, and that is not good. I don't pay for that. Praise God. So anyway, we'll, until we figure this thing out, we'll do better, we'll do better. Hey, Jessica Pajaza. See, Jessica, I know I, when, you, when you know I'm on, Jessica be here. And I missed her a time or two. I'm like, Jessica, where are you? She said, well, I didn't see you. I didn't see my notification. A notifier didn't work. And see, that's the thing, family. When you're trying to do anything for Christ, when you're trying to do anything for God, rest assured the enemy going to come in and try to mess with you. He's going to uh, your physical body. He'll come in your children. He'll come in your husband. He'll come in whoever he can come in. But our job as a believer is to encourage ourselves. Don't be moved. Just keep on keeping on. That's our job. That's our job. Okay, now I see I'm live on one of the platforms, but my platform is not on there. It just says I'm live. <laughs> well, you cannot see. Maybe it's going to come on after it finishes buffering. God is doing right now. Encourage yourself, don't you see? Encourage yourself. In the blood of Jesus, in her. Hey, Diane, Diane, Diane. God bless you, baby. God bless you. I saw a cute little video. I don't know when it was. I was just scrolling through my stuff a little bit ago. And you and the girls was taking a picture. And there was some dog that used to wait for one of them to come home from school every day. And then you guys moved. And y'all happened to go back to the community. And you saw the, the little dog. Oops, it says something seems to be live. You're already having connection issues. Yeah, I am having issues. Yep, they said we're having connection issues. We most certainly are. I'm glad they know it. So what are they going to do about it? <laughs> then you will know. Yeah, because I see on here it's not connected. It's just buffering. On YouTube, 
This is what it shows me in the world, because we're taking the world, the whole wide world, for the seven-minute read. See the little world on there buffering? You know he never leaves you. He's always there. You know he's there to leave. Okay, so now let me click it again and see if it'll do it again. You know encourage yourself. So I've got me the one up on um Facebook. See, it's 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 not connecting like it should be connecting. Let me make sure all my connection stuff is connected. Hold on, let me make sure. I should be. Hopefully it ain't. My my whole restream thing is not connecting. It is not connecting. Well, I don't know what to do. I have we are live on Instagram. We are live on Facebook. One of the Facebook platforms. My my pay my name. We're live on Meet Me. We're live on um Live Me and Live Me. So we are not live on Facebook. We're not on uh Twits, LinkedIn. Um what else do I have over there? So those are the various platforms, and they are not because whatever this thing, it just said finish. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me shut it out. Leave. So they're having, pro they did, they just put something up that said we're having connection problems. We'll try one more time. We have until 7.07. 7.07, I start praying. So... At least we have my main, my main place is Facebook. That's where I have the most of my followers. And of course, over here on Live Me and Meet Me. Meet Me, I'm getting a nice group of people. God bless you, Brother Mark. God bless you. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, I am. And we have a ministry, online ministry called Smurf. Seven Minute Read. What I do is I read the Bible seven minutes every day until we read the complete Bible. I read the Bible Seven minutes every day until the complete Bible has been finished. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm going back out of this. <sighs> I'm going out. Skip this. How was your experience? How that thumbs down. How was your experience? Ooh. Having connection issues and clarity okay they asked me to send them a little feedback so prayerfully they'll look at it all right thank you for the front for the feedback all right we're gonna try one more time one more time we're gonna try more hey chase chase where you been i've been missing you all of a sudden you just quit coming is there a reason is something we done done to you i ain't been on you so i know i ain't did nothing to you how come we, how come you don't be showing up chase we need you. You're part of the family. But, but you, I mean, everybody come. The Bible says, whosoever will, let them come. Whosoever will, let them come. Everybody that follows you can't follow you continually. They will follow for a time and for a season. And then when that time and season up, then they gone. So I don't know. Maybe the time and season with us and Chase is gone. The Chase don't be coming no more. Praise God. So I don't know. But... <clears throat> We're here, regardless who comes and regardless who goes. Whenever y'all tune in at seven o'clock, y'all gonna see Mama Pam. If you don't see my face, then you will assuredly see um, the lot the pre pre reads. Because if I just can't do the broadcast, we already have pre reads completed. I work very diligently doing the pre reads. I do the pre reads. I pre read. I'm reading. I'm always reading. And that's why the enemy wants to, it always messes with me. Because faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So if you all are hearing, just simply me hearing me reading you the word of God. Okay, Chase. Okay, sounds good. Just you hearing me reading the word of God, you're blessed. You're blessed simply by hearing, simply by hearing me reading the word of God. Because faith comes by hearing. Your faith is increased. Every time you come on and you hear just a little bit of the word or or you hear a little of my little silly little testimonies or hear me and my little stories, your faith is being increased. You're being blessed. 
When you see me come on here when the Lord know I don't feel like it. Today, I didn't get up until about three o'clock. I got up. I got dressed. I haven't even eaten anything. I didn't feel like eating. I got dressed. And I went and laid back down. And I put on an old, old tape, um, G.E. Patterson on healing, 30 minutes on healing. And I rejoiced with them and I called out my healing with them. You have to seek. He said, seek and you will find. Praise God. Seek and you will find. So I'm seeking God in every avenue that I know for my healing. But in the meantime, I have an assignment and that's come on here and read to y'all. So after I read to y'all, I'm going to go eat and lay myself back down. Then I can get back comfortable and lay myself down. But by coming, you can be encouraged. You can see that you're not the only one going through. Many times we feel like we're the only ones. Many times we feel like ain't nobody going through nothing but me. They physical, your physical ailments. And nobody having no physical ailments but me. No. There are other people having physical ailments besides you. Thank God I have a respiratory condition. I have respiratory conditions that I'm continually dealing with, continually seeking God for, continually <clears throat> working with, taking the vitamins, drinking the water, doing everything I think I know how to do to be healthy and to be well. Praise God. And then I still got to fight. So I may have to fight it the rest of my life until I turn to 120. I'm just about to be 70 in a minute. Ooh, I'm going to be 70 in a minute. And I'm just believing God, I'm going to live to get to see the 70, but I want to be healthy. I don't want to be all decrepit and, 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 and broke up and broke down. And so this here lung thing, it's hard to do stuff when you can't breathe, when you can't get air in your body. That's why these people with this Corona, when they say they can't breathe, come on, y'all. You don't know what it means to not be able to breathe until you are not able to breathe. Because when you see you cannot get oxygen in and out of your body, you get scared. You get scared. It's like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I didn't have no corona, but back in um, September 16th, 2000, because uh, my son's birthday, September 16th, was it 2016? It was on the 16th. Wow. I was on my way dressed. To go to the Bay Area like I do every couple weekends to celebrate my son's birthday. His wife was giving him a surprise party. I was dressed, had my luggage at the door. My husband was getting ready to take me to Bart. <clears throat> and I was at the door. And all of, a, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I said, baby, I can't breathe. <laughs> he said, huh? I said, I can't breathe. And it evolved to me calling the ambulance. And they took me to the hospital and my blood pressure was going up. And, and, and I'm just talking to the peoples. And they said, we ain't never had nobody. Temperature 190 something over something. And, 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 and you were just as kind and you're still talking and laughing. How you feel? I said, I feel fine. Somebody just can't breathe. Praise God, praise God, praise God. You, I don't go to bed at 12 a.m. You stay up late. Oh, so you get up late now? I don't go to bed to, until 2, you don't go to bed until 12 a.m. So you're, you're staying up later and getting up later. I'm assuming that's what you're saying. Chase, I'm talking to Chase. Are you sure you want to finish this stream? Yes, I've been wanting to finish this stream because it ain't doing nothing. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. All right, it's 7.10. It is 7.10. I got to go. I can't keep go live. Okay, we'll believe God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for enabling us and giving us strength and breathing the breath of life into our body and, and, and making the lungs open up and so the air can go through so that we can live and not die. Lord, we thank you for having the um, uh, machine where I can do my own treatment if I need to. And, and I got the inhalers and I have everything that I need naturally to open up the airway so that I can breathe. But Lord, if they don't work, we know you will. <laughs> I don't trust in the nebulizer. I don't trust in the inhaler. I trust in you, oh God. 
It is in you that I live and that I move and that I have my being. It is in you. I don't trust the doctors because the doctors can't give you no answers. We'll check and see. It look like it's this. Oh, maybe it's that. We'll give you this pill. Well, that would give you another pill. Well, that inhaler didn't work. Let me give you another inhaler. Lord, they don't know. They're doing this coronavirus. They're giving the shots. And the people getting sick and the people dying with the shots. And then we got to have two shots. But this shot don't work. But this antivirus don't work. Lord, only you. You're the healer, oh God. You are Jehovah Rapha, and that's the name of the healer. So I trust in you. I trust in you with my very, very life. So, Lord, I thank you that it's as well as it is. I have realized that the spirit of a man sustains him. So your, my spirit is big and strong. My spirit got big muscles. So when I do your bidding, then the spirit raises up and I'm able to talk and breathe and sing and laugh and everything. But as soon as I leave up out of this seat and I'm not in the presence of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit in me is covered with this flesh, which is contaminated with asthma stuff. So Lord, I need the spirit in me to line up with the flesh and for it to all be healed and powerful and mighty and strong. But until then, I trust you, oh God. I trust you, my life. I trust you with my life, oh God. So now, Lord, I ask that you look upon each and every one that is coming in from the north, south, east, and west that is coming together. Lord, I ask that you look on the restreamed link where I have the YouTube connected and the Facebook connected. I have Instagram connected. I have Twitch and I have a link it in on this one platform and the enemy is trying to attack it but we plead the blood of Jesus over the airways right now and the connectivity will come and it will come through and it will be clarity and it won't be with any hiccups and it won't be with any blurs for you said if we decree anything you would establish it by way of faith so I got the faith oh God I just need you to do the activation so, Lord, I ask that you bless the ears of the hearers. Give them spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit of the living God is saying to these clay, dirt, body churches. And then, oh, God, I thank you that we have your Spirit inside of us that keeps us encouraged and keeps us uplifted and keeps us motivated. And because of your Spirit, we can discern a thing. We can see behind a thing. We can see what's not spoken. We can see behind what's being said and what's really going on with what's being said. Because we realize that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but it's against powers. It's against principalities. It's against the rulers of darkness of this world. And you've given us authority. So we thank you for the authority that you've given us. You said resist the devil. Resist the devil and he will flee. So we resist him. We resist the affliction. We resist what he's trying to put up on us in the name of Jesus. And he's got to flee. So, Lord, I thank you for anointing me, for opening up my vocal cords, for healing me yet again and again and again and again. I stand in your place of healing, oh God. Let me read with exciting, with clarity, enthusiasm to these, your sons and to your daughters. And bless everyone. Lord, bless everybody that continues to come and support the ministry. Bless everyone, oh God, that sends financial support. Bless those that just come and show up support, attendance support. So I'm not sitting here reading to myself. So I thank you, oh God. I do give you glory. I do give you honor. And I do give you praise. Now, as I open my lips and begin to read your word, you read through me, Holy Spirit. As I die, let me decrease and let you increase. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise be thine. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. What is this thing saying? Are you sure you want to finish? Okay, I just said no. Let me see if I can see anything on one of these. Yeah. Okay, so Jessica, I see Jessica on Facebook. Which which platform are you on, Jessica? God bless you, son. <sighs> Praise God. Yes, healing is my portion. Jehovah Rapha, come on, come on with the word. Come on, come on. That's my son in Africa. Brother John Matui, he's in Africa. Me and him talk over in the night. Husband come to the bed sometime. I said, babe, I'm talking to my son in Africa. I'm talking to my son in Africa. And what we be talking is about praying. That's when we talk. That's what we talking about. We talking about God and his goodness and how good he is to us and how good he is to them. They're over in Africa where their stuff is very sparse and they don't have very much of anything. We over here and have everything and we're always complaining. 
So I thank God for him because when I see him, the pictures where he feeds the people over there, because them, they, they get a little rice and a little flour. They think they got something, y'all. Give them a little rice and they think they done died and went to heaven. And we be over here eating meat. I don't want that chicken. I don't want that hot dog. I don't want that. I don't eat potted meat. I don't eat being a sausage. I don't eat meat. And some countries wish they could have. Wish, praise God. God bless you, Lois. Praise God. The fellow mother. My daughter Ciola's mother-in-law is on. mother in love is on here. And Kimberly Day Williams, God bless you, daughter. God bless you. Haven't seen you all in a minute. Let me down this water and then we're going to get into the reading of the word. I try to get you guys in and out on the 30. Meaning you come in here at 7, I try to get you out of here at 7.30. Let me drink this water. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not sure what my husband is looking at in the living room, but I hear it's real clear. What he saw yesterday, what he showed me was blurred. It was really blurry. All right, so today is Friday. This is the end of the week for me. I don't come on and I don't read live on Saturday and Sunday. But God bless me and I was able to make it through this week, so I just rest up on the weekend to get ready to be back here on Monday. So we're resuming our read on 2 Samuel. The fifth chapter, David is cursed by Shimei. David is cur King David. They cussing King David. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Okay? Reading from 2 Samuel, the 16th chapter and the fifth verses, and it reads, And King David came to Bahurim, and behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gara. He came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left hand. And thus said Simei when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. The Lord hath returned unto thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Then said Abishai, the son of Zariah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. And the king said, what have I to do with you, ye sons of Zariah? So let him curse, because the Lord hath said unto him, curse David. Okay? Who shall then say, wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, seek of my life. Well, how much more now may this Benjamin I do it? Let him alone. Let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. Y'all see that? It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that the Lord will requite me good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shammai went along on the hillside over against him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dirt, dust. And the king and all the people that were with him with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. And Absalom and all the people, the men of Israel, came to Jerusalem, and Ahithophel with him. And it came to pass when Hushai, the archite, David's friend, was come unto Absalom, that Hushai said unto Absalom, God save the king, God save the king. And Absalom said to Hushai, is this thy kindness to my, thy friend? Why wentest thou not with thy friend? And who shall I say unto Absalom? Nay, but whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel chose, his will I be, and with him will I abode. And again, 
whom should I serve? Should I not serve in the presence of his son, as I have served in thy father's presence? So will I be in thy presence. I, I know it was a trick, y'all. This was a trick, so pay attention as we read. So then said Absalom to Ahithophel, Give counsel among you what we shall do. And Ahithophel said unto Absalom, Go in unto thy father's concubines, which he have left to keep the house, and all Israel shall hear that thou art at whore of thy father. Then shall the hands of all that are with thee be strong. Hola, como esta mi hermana Olga? God bless you, sweetie. So they spread of Absalom a tent upon the top of the house. And Absalom went in unto his father's concubines in the sight of all of Israel. How low down is that? And the counsel of Ahithophel which he counseled in those days was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of God. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. Chapter 17. So moreover, Ahithophel said unto Absalom, let me now choose out 12,000 men and I will arise and pursue after David this night. And I will come upon him while he is weary and weak handled and will make him afraid and all the people that are with him shall flee. And I will smite the king only. And I will bring back all the people unto thee. The man whom thou seekest is as if all returned. So all the people shall be in peace. And the same, it pleased Absalom. It pleased Absalom well and all the elders of Israel. Then said Absalom, call now Hishai, the archite also. And let us hear likewise what he saith. And when Hushai was come to Absalom, Absalom spake unto him, saying, Ahithophel has spoken after this manner. Shall we do after this saying? If not, speak thou. And Hushai said unto Absalom, The counsel that Ahithophel hath given is not good at this time. For said Hushai, Thou knowest thy father and his men, and they be mighty men, and they be chafed in their minds as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field. And thy father is a man of war and will not lodge with the people. So behold, he is hid now in some pit or in some place. And it will come to pass when some of them be overthrown at the first that whosoever heareth it will say, there's a slaughter among the people that follow Absalom. And he also that is valiant, whose heart is at the heart of a lion, whose heart is as the heart of of a lion shall utterly melt. For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. Therefore, I counsel that all Israel be generally gathered unto thee, from Dan even to Beersheba, as the sand that is by the sea for multitude, and that thou go to the battle in thine own person. So shall we come upon him in some place where he shall be found, and we will light upon him as the dew falleth on the ground. And of him and of all the men that are with him, there shall not be left so much as one. Moreover, if he be gotten in the city, then shall all of Israel bring ropes to that city, and we will draw it into the river until there be not one small stone there found there. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The council of Hushai, the archite is better than the counsel of Ahithophel. For the Lord hath appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel to the intent that the Lord might bring evil upon Absalom. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. So listen real carefully or reread it, and you will see how God has blessed David to have some people placed in um, Absalom's camp to give him back, to give him back information and then lead, mislead them into thinking that they're giving good advice. That's what's going on here. So pay attention to Ahithophel and Hushai. Ahithophel and Hushai as we go forward in the reading. So we concluded our read at 2 Samuel, the 17th chapter. Uh, we'll be resuming at the 15 verses on Saturday, which I will be putting up at 7 p.m. 
on um, my page on Facebook, 7 p.m. on my page, Facebook, Pamela Dobson, or you can go to uh, YouTube and look on YouTube. There's a slew, all the reads I've been reading is on YouTube. So you just look for the date, look for uh, tomorrow's date, and you should be able to see it there. Amen. Well, we praise God. We got you in and got you out. I see people here have been joining. God bless you. I'm joining them back on the um, Live Me platform. Uh, Lenore is already a member, has already been here. God bless you. Appreciate your coming back. We have so many people. I can't keep. Oh, Maisha. Hey, baby, how are you? Maisha done slipped in when caught me on a word. So that's where the Lord is. He see you. You don't even see the Lord. You don't even know the Lord looking at you. And he be looking over your shoulder as this baby looking at me right now. Praise God. So we thank God for the Meet Me group. We thank God for all of my Facebook family. Hey, Courtney. How are you, daughter? God bless you, sweetie. Um, thank God for each and every one. As you guys notice, when I can, when I can, Facebookers, because I'm not on Facebook a whole lot, but when I come on and if I see somebody's picture, their grandson or somebody's birthday or, or whatever I see and I catch it, I will download it in my gadget, throw a little frame on it and throw it back at you. That's just me throwing a little love to people. I put little frames on people's pictures and give it back to them on the birthday anniversary or even at the death. I even find some people, they lose their little dogs. They put that little thing on their dogs on there. Somebody had a dog 15 years, I saw. And they said they were out, they said they were out walking the dog. And the dog died on the walk. But the dog was 15 years old. And I think, I figured that's 100 and, I think it's 105 years in people's life because seven years in a dog's life is a people's life. So that, that little dog, he lived a long time. I'm not too much into animals, but so many people are. And God made all creation. So I put a little frame, I put a little dog frame around them, try to encourage them. That's what I'm all about. I'm about encouraging people. Also, also, as I'm leaving, the young lady that spoke at the inaugural, Amanda Gorman, oh my God. Did that little black girl represent, and when I say black, she is a black girl. I love it. I love the skin she's in. And she represented all hues and all colors. And she represented with an intense, I am a poet. I do poetry. I can really appreciate good poetry. And that girl worked that poetry. She preached a message in poetic form. She preached a message in poetic form. Yes, she did. So she has three books. She has one that will be released April. And then the other two won't be released until September. And some of them are kind of pricey, about $26, I think one was, and $14. But you know what I did? I sucked it up and I said, Lord, I'm going to sacrifice and support this young lady to encourage. I try to encourage people. That's what I do. And so I pre-ordered all of her books last night. I went ahead. I said, but Lord, in September, I'm going to be in Texas. I won't even be here. But I have a forwarding address so they can forward it to me. I'll just go back in Amazon. Because, I, yeah, I have to go to Amazon anyway and change my address. So they'll send it anyway. Look at God. See, the Lord just told me. So by the time I'm in my new home, I will have changed my forwarding address in Amazon. So I'll get my books. Um, I did that with uh, Michelle with her book. And I did that with uh, Obama's book. I pre-ordered. And what happened when you pre-ordered? As soon as they was talking about it on the TV, it's coming out today. I had mine in the mail, I think that day or the next day. So it's a good thing. Now, I don't know how I'm going to read all these books I'll be getting, but I shall be getting them. And I try to read them. Praise God. All right. It's 730. Get you in. Get you out on the 30. So you in, you out on the 30. So what I'm trying to say is if I don't frame your picture, if y'all put y'all babies, the grandbabies, whoever, and I don't frame them. Now, what you can do, Facebook, if you send it to me in Messenger, if you send a picture to me in Messenger and ask me to frame it for you and I see it, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. I do that for a season. I've done it and asked for a dollar, five dollars, 50 cents or whatever. But I just do it. I do it because I enjoy doing it and I enjoy blessing people. All right. So we're going to sign off right here for my backup. My backup, I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson. I am the minister of the Smurf Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Folk. We are the fastest growing ministry on the internet that I know. And if you want to support us, you can send your donations to dollar sign Mama Pam 23 
That's Cash App, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, and or PayPal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. PayPal.me, that little forward slash Pamela Dobson, it'd be greatly appreciated. I am not, I am not a 501c3, so you do not, will not get uh, your uh, a charitable con. You can't get it for charity. You cannot claim it because I'm not hooked into that because then they control what you can and cannot do. When you get your 501c3, they'll tell you who you got to minister, what you got to do. Can't nobody tell me nothing what I got to do because I ain't hooked. I'm not getting hooked up like that. All right. God bless. Okay, talking real, real fast. I'm trying to get y'all in, get y'all out. It's time to get y'all in and out of here. I love you, everybody. Everybody's body over here on Meet Me. God bless you. Thank you all for joining. Come back. See us again on Monday. I don't come on on Saturdays and Sundays, but Monday I will be back. Lord willing. Oh, it's always good to say if the Lord willing, because we don't know if we're going to be here or not. You see what happened with the shutdown a year ago. All of a sudden, everything changed overnight. So you don't know what tomorrow going to be. We pray everything be okay tomorrow. Because I don't know, and you don't either, what the future holds. I don't know about today. But the Lord, he holds my hand, and I know he leads the way. So come what may, from day to day, I will never ever fret for the Lord. He holds my hand and he's never failed me yet. Let me say it one more time. He's never failed me yet. See, it's amazing. I couldn't hit a note. I was in the room before I came and sat in this seat and I couldn't see nothing. Nothing would come out. I tried to see, you know, and I, but look, see, I tell you, when I sit in this seat, I'm going to have to sit in this space, take this space with me everywhere I go. Because whatever's happening up in here is where the healing is, the anointing is. So I got to stay in this room, I guess, just stay in this room. <laughs> I love everybody. Good night. Good night, family.